What do Scott Pilgrim and Undertale have in common? I love them both, but I don't like talking about them on the internet. <laughs> and then I do anyway. Copyright disclaimer. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill. This is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture because I've been living under a rock. Usually I do videos where I know nothing about the artist or fan base or show or movie going in. This is going to be different. I'm a big fan of Scott Pilgrim. I really love the books. I like the movie a lot. Everything's open to criticism. I just feel like people argue about Scott Pilgrim a lot. It came out in a time of my life where I really needed to see a story where a male protagonist learned from his mistakes and grew. And I know that's not everybody's takeaway and that's fine. When I found out there's gonna be a new Scott Pilgrim, I got really excited. Uh, hopefully it's something that, you know, is updated, expands on characters, um, and I haven't watched it yet. Today, I'm gonna be listening to the music of Scott Pilgrim Takes Off, the Scott Pilgrim anime, for the first time. The music is also by Anamanaguchi, who I've listened to in my Trying to Stand Hatsune Miku video. From what little I know of Anamanaguchi's work, that makes a lot of sense. I'm just gonna listen to the music and give my thoughts and break down as we go, looking at the lyrics and things like that. If you want me to talk about the show directly, as well as the books or the movies, I don't know, let me know by watching, liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, all that good biz, leaving a comment of encouragement. I'll definitely be watching it, and if people wanna hear my thoughts, I'd be happy to give them. My gaming channel's in the description where I stream twice a week, Build Chill Gaming, along with my merch store, thethirdbuild.com. Speaking of the description and all these ways to support me, don't forget to support yourself. There's also a link there in the description description to a card for a social awareness, mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them? I don't know. I'm just nervous. I've seen in person and online so many like bad takes. <laughs> it stresses me out. I'm just here to have fun. Anyway, we're going to be starting with the opening credits of Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. Ooh. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of when I was like, oh, Anamanaguchi, the electric sound, but also keeping some of that grungy. Look at it, it's so cool seeing the art style move. <laughs> Those two sounds blend really well. By lighting. Ooh, Bloom, thank you. It doesn't say it in the title. Little kitty kitty in space. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, 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 November 17th. The soundtrack dropped the same day, so I've been waiting for everything with anticipation. I really loved that. I loved how it sounded, the electronic sound with like the kind of grungy Rocky. I really like that. I think it blends the video game references with the electronic sounds, that like grungy Rocky sound. It, it blends the things I already know from outside of the book really nicely. I wanna look at lyrics though. I wanna look at the lyrics though, lyrics please. Yes, I know the lyrics to Plum Tree Scott Pilgrim. Yes, yes, yes. I've liked you for a thousand years. Um, not finding a translation, that's a huge bummer. The transcript is Bloom, Bloom continues, music halts. I love the visuals in that opening too. I, I don't know, like that's exactly what I'd want when you tell me Scott Pilgrim anime. I hope that it's implying we're gonna get something I've craved ever since first reading the story. I hope we get more from the supporting cast, more Ramona, but also the, the exes as well as uh, Scott's friends. I like feeling like everyone's part of the cast. It could be a contract thing because they're all very big actors now. My agent says my name goes in the credits. It just felt like everybody was a part of it and I hope it does feel more like an ensemble piece. I love how positive it felt musically while also having the the grungy grittiness, the, the reality to hit. I love seeing the two of them falling and like holding hands. It's like, yeah, they both have shortcomings to address in the story. And I feel like not a lot of people talk about it from my experience. It reminds me of what I love about the story, the hope to evaluate yourself, what you want to improve, what you want to change, celebrating that growth. Beautiful animation. I'm so excited to watch this. Like it, it really does look like the book is moving. I love the feeling of, like I said, the optimism, the, the chaos that also collides with it, the imperfect journey of imperfect people trying to improve. Bummed I can't find a translation though. I'll link the playlist in the description. Um, the rest of this, I'm just going off of a playlist for the Scott Pilgrim Takes Off soundtrack. So next is I Feel Fine, part one. <laughs> I pause it right at We Are Sex. <laughs> okay, anyway. We are sex, boo-boo! One, two, three, four! Ooh, there we go. Oh, I love the distortion. 
Do you? Oh, man. There we go. Like, ah. Oh. I hope your tummy's okay. There's something really impressive about making something not feel produced and it still sounds really good. I love that like distorted, I don't know if you would call it grunge, but it's very reminiscent of grunge for me. It's one of the things I really liked in the movie soundtrack. It, it feels like it's in a garage and not in a bad way. I don't know. I hope that doesn't come across as negative. It's something that I've always kind of hoped that someone would do, if not the movie, ideally this show. Again, I'm not usually already a fan of something when I do these kind of videos. I want to feel like these songs are indicative of the journey we don't see Steven goes on when he realizes that he's attracted to men. Can't find my way around. When the sun comes up, I'm down. It feels lost. And then I feel fine. I don't feel good. Given the themes and story of Scott Pilgrim, it's like, yeah, like the, the lies we tell ourselves, the delusions, the, the missing pieces of our memory, the things we don't want to acknowledge. And I'm really hopeful that that's kind of where they're going with the music of Sex bob -omb. It just feels like, oh, is this a track from the movie that I hadn't heard yet? It just, it fits so easily. <laughs> These are so short. Next is Orange Shirt. Ugh, already I'm mad that this isn't made specifically for me because I mostly wear black shirts. Ugh, <laughs> what did they do to Scott Pilgrim? <laughs> Ooh. Wait, what? Yes, unrequited angsty love song. Damn. Oh my God, let them play the whole song. I don't know, orange shirt and yogurt. It just really makes me laugh. I could never paint you. I'd never do you justice. I love how kind of pained and rough around the edges and imperfect it feels. I only wanted to be next to you. I didn't think it through. Like, yeah, that's, uh-huh. The responsibility of engaging with another human being and the impact we can have on their lives. I really like the sound that they're going for with Sex bob <laughs> Yeah, I'm super bummed that they're so short. And next is I Will Remember You, which is making me think of the song from the sad dog commercials. I will remember you. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't let your love. <laughs> it's a good note. Why this? <laughs> Why does that feel so musically inappropriate? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna remix I Will Remember You. <laughs> Is this a bit? It's kind of growing on me. It just, right? Like, it just feels like... I wanna, I wanna make a version of I Will Remember You that people can dance to. <laughs> Whoever that is, you sound great. <laughs> what the hell? Is it when Scott breaks up with knives? That'd be really, actually, that'd be really good. Like, first I was worried that someone died. Maybe it plays when one of the exes gets defeated. I don't know. <laughs> That's really bizarre. I haven't read the books in a long time. That'd be funny if it's when Scott dies and comes back. Like, they play the original when he dies, gets his extra life, and then it plays it again happier when he comes back. That'd be kind of cool. It's just really bizarre. <laughs> like, I hope, I hope I'm supposed to be laughing or I'm gonna look like such an asshole. I, like, my head is swimming trying to think of, like, how that would fit. <laughs> Sometimes bad guys turn into great guys. Looks like it's just dialogue. So next is, oh, I hope I say it right. Konya wa Hurricane. Big city. Hello? Is this an anime within the anime? Ooh, I like that. Those harmonies are nice. Oh, is this the twins? Yeah, right when the harmony hit, I'm like, oh, that'd be cool if we get like a song actually from the twins. I'm bummed that all these are so short. I really liked how dramatic it felt, especially with the the loving you. Yeah, give me touch. I like the way it sounded. I really liked the the pop synthy flavors to it. I 
I just want a little more. I also really love how different all the genres are starting to be. Like, other than obviously We Are Sex with Bomb, one, two, three, four, you can tell that they were done, or at least I think they were done by people other than Sex with Bomb. Next is Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Overture, but not the opening? Okay, we'll find out. Oh, like a musical? Is there a musical episode? That would be dope. Okay, theater nerds, let's go. Wait, is there a track missing? Oh my God. According to the lyrics page I have, the next one is Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Musical. I guess we'll just go straight into it. That's, uh, that, oh my God, that's exciting. We're just gonna jump right into it. Next is Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Musical. I'm Scott Pilgrim. I know, shut up. I had that dream again. <laughs> Are you leaving? Sex bomb practice is in one hour. I mean, what this time? I love this. Shut up. Oh my god. Oh, it's a rock opera. Oh, fuck me. That's great. Shut up. Oh my God, please. Is that, the, please tell me it's not the only track for that. Can you imagine like a being alive and it's get, get it together, Scott? This is an appreciation question. Who's the nerd? Whoever made, it's a musical with it. Like why, how? What if Lucas Lee's like a Broadway actor or something? That'd be really funny. Like just to kind of change it up. Even just the idea of a musical episode would be so great. Like that sounds amazing. I'm so excited now or more so than I already was. I just, I really wanted just like one, like you are dating a high schooler. <gasps> like just like the over the top, it's so good. It's so good. It's just like that nasally, like really sounds like a modern, like, like more poppy, like musical. Do you know a girl? with hair like this. Like, if your life had a face, I would punch it. What? If your life had a face, dun 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 dun, I would punch it. And the set moves like. <laughs> Whatever theater nerd made this, like bless you. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you nerds. I hope there's more than just that one song. But now the overture makes so much sense. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a highway in my mind. Like just, I really want <laughs> a some space highway. Like really like sell me on it, please God. <laughs> I need to stop. I could do that for an hour. Oh my God. Next is I Feel Fine Part Two. God, I love, oh, hello. Was there piano in the first one? Who joined the band? Yeah, who joined the band? That makes me excited. Yeah, do something different. I really like I Feel Fine, that's exciting. The keyboards were cool, I liked adding that to it. Who plays piano? Scott Pilgrim learns that D is in the doghouse. I'm glad that song came back, I like that song. So I'm just gonna kind of listen to the score while the camera goes, just kind of get my thoughts as I go. Fight. I love that. I like how eerie it is. Like it's it's the subspace highway, right? It's the it's the mysterious, the unknown. Nice little splash of synthy. <sighs> I miss Infinity Train. It sounded really cool. I liked how mysterious and dark, but then fascinating and exciting it got towards the end. Oh, I love that. Ooh, I have that bangs, I guess I should say. I need to be careful with my language. Detective Flowers. This does have a nice like noir detective-y kind of feel. Okay, investigation continues. That kind of banged. <laughs> Knives and Kim. Uh. Wait, does Kim know guitar? Is she teaching Knives bass? Or is this uh, Sonic and Knuckles? Is Knives the one learning to play an instrument? Yeah, it's way, yeah, it's so much more confident in the bass line here. Like, is Knives learning to play bass? Oh, kiddo. For yourself, right? <laughs> Not for Scott. <laughs> That's real nice. F 
Bring your A game, holy sh Are we playing basketball? What just happened? There's a lot happening right now, hello? Shut up. Is it, is this the, the intro for the league? That's fantastic. Oh uh, yeah, I guess this wouldn't be the the good kind of they dated. Oh, the track listing is giving me a clue. Oh no. I was about to say this sounds sad. Yeah, the, all the previous relationships have ended. I love Roxy. I hope her dialogue gets a little updated. Hell yeah. No. But yes, absolutely, holy shit. That's so much better than, than like dismissing it as a phase, putting down or questioning Ramona's sexuality. Yes, take that angle instead. This is what I meant by expand on characters and update it. Also, oh no, it's called and they were roommates. Like, fuck you. It, yeah, it doesn't feel fun. Like, thank you, like, yeah, please update that. Like, it breaks my heart to hear Amity Blight say hasbian. Like, yeah, we don't have to call it a phase so we can keep the impact. I'm so excited to watch this now. I like how sexy Well Well Wells is. Yeah! Super Ramona, so that's, huh. Like when Ramona fights Gideon, I don't know that, ooh. Why is it called Sonic 3? I loved how warm that felt and it felt like, that felt like exploring space, but moving confidently, like the unknown, but like confident in the unknown i don't know sorry if the rest of this was kind of brief highlights through the score it was a great score i just i don't have much to pull other than looking at the name of the song and then kind of maybe talking about some things but i really recommend the score too i had an amazing time listening to this it feels so different than what i was expecting i don't know like i was already looking forward to this but i'm i'm looking forward to it a lot more again just from what little details i was picking up on whether it's in the the songs and the lyrics <laughs> that I will remember you remix is still the strangest thing I've ever heard. Anything from that to some of the, the score and the context clues there, I feel a lot of complexity in the music and its emotion. And that makes me really hopeful for the show. The tracks that have to do with what I'm assuming is the Roxy part of the story make me really look forward to this. Again, an updated version of the story is kind of what I've craved. Expansion and update. Correct some of the things that don't work very well. Emphasize certain points that maybe have been missing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really looking forward to checking out the show. And this really helped. And I I think the music is fantastic. I think the score is really strong and I, I loved feeling the different shifts in genre and the different instruments. I can't wait to watch this. And if people are interested, I'd love to do a video talking about it and stuff in the future. I'd love to know what you guys think. And yeah, so far it, it does feel comfortable and different. And I, I hope it keeps going in that direction. It's still pretty early in the day. I haven't seen any reviews or anything like that. Please no spoilers in the comments, but let me know if you want my thoughts on it. So yeah, uh, there you guys go. Those are my thoughts on the Scott Pilgrim takes off anime soundtrack. <laughs> it's so many words by Anna Monaguchi and Joseph Trapanese. I hope I said that right. I'd love to know what you guys think about my thoughts. Please text spoilers if you're going to talk about the show. Blah, 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 YouTube words. If you want to check it out, I have a gaming channel in the description where I stream twice a week. Build Chill Gaming as well as my merch store where you can pick up merch or donate. You can always donate here with a super thanks. Speaking of the description and all the ways to support me, remember to support yourself. There's also a link in the description to a card for social awareness, mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them? This was a lot... <laughs> of tracks. I'd love to do more Scott Pilgrim in the future. So again, let me know if you want that. Click the things. I hope to see you next time I upload or go live. Hope everyone's staying safe. Remember to grab a mask if you're heading out. Be mindful of others. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.